Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have some great news. As you know, the African cichlids that were in this 210 gallon are now settled into their 300 gallon new home. And that's going very, very well. So it was time to move the, the South American cichlids out of the 90 gallon and, and moved to this 210 gallon. I wanna share with you the steps that I took to do that and show you the final result, which I'm actually very happy with. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see here, the, the 210 was, was set up, it was scaped, it had the wood and the rocks in place and was ready, was ready for fish. I had given it some water tests and the test results were all perfect. We had zero, uh, zero nitrite, zero ammonia. Uh, there was uh, uh, about 10 or 15 nitrates. And it was, anyway, it was in great shape. It was, it was good to go. So I started off by, uh, by bringing over a, what you would call like test fish or what one of my, son, one of my sons called uh, the, the, uh, the canary and the coal mine fish. And that was first off a, uh, uh, a pleco. There was a pleco in the tank. And after several days of the pleco doing perfectly well, I brought over a chocolate cichlid. So there was a chocolate and a pleco in here for a few days and they were doing great. Colors were good. They were eating, they were active. And so uh, between that and the test results, I knew it was time to, uh, to bring over the fish. So uh, the first step was to go ahead and, and move some beneficial bacteria uh, from the 90 gallon. And so what I did is I went ahead and I removed one of the Marineland 400 uh, media uh, allocations. You have, you have two sides to a to that hang on back filter. And so I removed all the beta that was in that one hang on back filter. And then I transferred it over to the, uh, uh, to the sump on the 210. One of the nice things about having a sump filter is you can, you can drop things in, you can take things out. It's actually very, very easy to do. And that, that gave me, apart from already having real good test results, it gave me an extra boost of, uh, of bacteria, of good bacteria. Uh, just gave me a sense of uh, you know, more security with regards to bringing over the fish. In this particular transfer, unlike the, the transfer of the African cichlids from the 210 to the 300 here in front of me, I didn't use the Fritzyme 7 product. I'm relying entirely on the fact that it was already an established tank and I was bringing over beneficial bacteria from the media on, on the 90 gallon. So I brought that over, I put it into the sump, and then I had to catch the fish in the 90. And for those of you who uh, have experience catching cichlids, it's very, very difficult with decor. So I emptied out all the decor of the 90 and, and then went ahead and caught the fish. There were very specific, specific fish I wanted to bring over, the uh, bigger and more aggressive cichlids, and that included the vieja, the, um, the two chocolate cichlids, the Nicaragua, the Salvini and and the Jack Dempsey. Eventually, I'll also put the uh, the the uh, Firemouth and also the Green Tear in the 210 once they put on some more size. So the fish were brought over, you know, one at a time, right? Were brought over using a big net that I have, which is probably not going to be big enough uh, because that 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 uh, Vieja barely fit in the in, in my largest net, so I'm probably going to have to buy a bigger net for future projects. Already interacting and uh, they've been here for several hours uh, and they're doing they're doing great. They look great. They're they're interacting with me well and I expect I expect this to, to be a, a perfect transition. So I'm very excited to have a 210 South American tank. The 90 gallon will now be uh, the more peaceful uh, South Central Americans. Your your geophagus, your red shoulder uh, I'm probably going to be adding a, uh, a, a red spotted gold severum in there and uh, maybe a few other a few other choice fish. I'll probably bring the electric blue Okara, bring that fish over to the uh, 
uh, to the 90 as well. And so it's it, it's great. The, pro, the, the, the progress is great. The, the, uh, the, the steps are working out very, very well. And I'm very excited about this new tank. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I know the Vieja likes the extra, extra, extra room, extra space. And uh, the 90 was getting a little bit cramped, cramped for him. We'll talk about this and a lot more in our cichlids and coffee or cichlids and suds. Once a month, I do an evening live stream, cichlids and suds. Uh, we'll talk about that and, and a whole lot more in our live streams. And if you like the content of the channel, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the uh, thumbs up and the notification bell. Let YouTube know something good's going on. That way they'll recommend the channel to other fish keepers like us. Okay, and if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a member of the uh, of the monthly uh, Garage Gang, the Patreon program, which really helps me to carry out uh, tasks and projects like this. Okay, thank you, my friends. You are the best. I'll see you at the live stream. Bye bye.